Well, it all sounds very straightforward to me. Yeah, looks quite simple, that. What is it, then? Well, it's a Dynajet kit. You've all heard of these. You might have even fitted one, but if you've not fitted one, you certainly have heard of one. What does it do, then? And how does it do it? And is it easy to fit to your motorcycle? Well, we're going to find out, because in this little workshop over here is my mate Gary Thompson, and he's fitting one as we speak. So, let's go and ask him some questions. Well, here he is. Look at him. Beavering away here, Gary Thompson. Superbike whisk kid extraordinaire, eh? Hey? That's another five you owe me, by the way. Not more money. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm all right, mate. Good right, to see listen, you. I want to ask you about these uh, these rejetting kit type things, Dynajet, as we've all heard of. Yeah. Tell me. Tell our viewers in a nutshell what it does. Basically, this kit it comes uh, comes complete with instructions as well, so you can do these yourself. Don't be worried about whether you need to be a mechanical genius. Right. It does come with instructions. Basically what the kit does, it increases low end and mid range torque. Right, and it's a DIY job obviously. Yeah, right. yeah, pretty okay. straightforward. It looks, alright, we've got instructions there, but you've got various different jets. We've got jets, I think we've got 144s, 150s and 155s. So Different ones, wow. depending uh, these for example, these are 144s, so the 144s would go on if you were using a standard air filter right. and the standard exhaust cans. You just basically change the jets. Okay. So that's a one. Well, that would give you some improvement. That gives you well, improvement. Yeah, of course it does. Improvement over the, the entire, as I say, low right. out mid range. Okay. What are you fitting in? What's this anyway? Blackbird. This. This is off a of Blackbird. Now mm -hmm. I will be putting some cans on it, and I'm also going to put a high performance K and M filter on it as well. Right. So what we need to do is fit the 155s. Which is what you're doing. Which is what I'm doing at this moment. So if we just take this one out, it's quite easy. Right. Hang on. You've done. Have you done these three? Haven't you? They're done. They're all done. It's basically on this one. four times repetition, this, yeah. isn't it? On, on a, on a four-cylinder bike, anyway, isn't it? Once right. you've done one, they're all the same. Right, OK. There's no difference. So you're going to do the last one. So you've just took the bottom of the float chamber off there, yeah? That's the float chamber. Three screws, remove it. Just make sure that gasket's OK there. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah. Throw it down there. Yeah. Needs a new gasket now. Yeah, we can throw it... <laughs> <laughs> we can throw it down on the floor there, yeah, doesn't okay, matter. Yeah. On. Just locate the main jet. Simply remove the main jet. Like that. No worries. Throw it in the box. New jet, quick blow, screw it in. This all looks very straightforward. It's so easy. It is so easy. There's nothing difficult about it at all. Make sure that's tight. Nip that up. You're ready to put the float chamber back on. Is that it? That's the bottom side. Ah, there's the other half because I noticed ah. the other half. Not just are the jets in this, but there are, there are needles. There are springs and uh, little circlips and things. That all goes in the other side. It's all going to get a bit fiddly now, then, is it? Those are on the vacuum sliders. Right, OK. So that's to the side. Right, we're going to tighten all these up. What you need to do, then, is locate these mixture screws. Yeah. I've done them, actually. But what you do is you wind them in fully mm -hmm. until they're seated lightly. Back them out. Half, one, one and a half, two turns. OK, so I've turned the carbs over. I've put a little block of wood under there just to get it at a better angle. I've undone the three screws. We're going to remove this cover. Now, as I said before, there's a little spring under here. Well, it's about that long. Mm -hmm. So just let it come off slowly. And there's your spring. OK. You can put that away. Discard that for a second. We take one of the screws that we've removed and we wind it into the jet holder, which is there. Just wind it in. Good few turns. Don't lock it up, but wind it, and then just pull the whole thing out. As if by magic. And as if by magic. Right. What we're going to do now is we're going to actually remove the holder, the jet holder, right. which is that. Make sure you know which way that's going to go back in, because it'll only go in one way. You'll break it. You're going to have to put this thing back together in a minute. We've got it? to put it all back together. We have indeed. Turn it upside down. Out comes the needle. Right. And also on the needle, you'll find a spacer. You have to reuse this spacer as well. So we'll keep the spacer there. That's the old needle. All right. That can go in the box with the rest of it. You want this new needle now? We want the new needle, but we've got a little drilling job to do first. OK. On the bottom, there's two holes. One where the needle comes through, and there's a vacuum hole there. Mm -hmm. What you have to do... I've already prepared this. You like a filling? That's right. Yeah. OK, Doctor. Come okay. On. <laughs> the drill's supplied with the kit. Yep. That's the right size and everything. So basically we have to open that hole out with that drill. The vacuum hole. The vacuum hole, which right. is the smaller of the two. It is indeed. So it's only plastic, so we'll just be careful. <laughs> ah, 
And if you pass me a cotton wood bolt, oh, hey, hey, you've, got, you've got the idea, haven't you? All right, so we'll just drill that out. We've got rid of any plastics off. Just make sure that's nice and clean. And we'll take that and we'll just try and clean up anything that's in there. Hopefully it might pick it up. That's not too bad. We'll just wet it. See if we can. Yeah. So right. there's nothing in there. Okay. We can get rid of that in the bin. Mm, this is the new needle. This is indeed the new needle. You'll also find a circlet for it. I have them here. And a washer. I have them here. You're doing well, sir. They're very fiddly, aren't they, these things? This this is the tricky bit, so well, we'll just discard are. that for a moment. There's a circlip and a washer. What we need to do, it tells you in the instructions, actually, that that circlip must go on the third groove. OK. Third from which end? Doesn't matter. Because there's five grooves? Because there's ah! five grooves, it's in the middle. See, I knew that. Go it's on. always from the top. Yeah, if okay. it doesn't say... I think I remember doing a CBR6 ages ago, and it didn't actually say whether it was from the top or the bottom. OK but it is always from the top, so it goes on the third groove. And this is the fiddly bit. Hurts your fingers, this bit. This is where it goes ping, Ouch. disappears across the galley's floor and you can never find it again. You, you've got to be careful. You've got to be careful. It is a little bit... This is the trickiest part. Just take a little pair of pliers. All right. Okay, and put it into position. Perfect. So that's now on the third groove. It is. We're ready to go. What we do is we use the stock spacer, right. which came off the old needle. That goes below the circlip, like that. And you've got the top one there. I have. Now, rather than try and put that on there and feed it into there, mm -hmm. we're going to cheat. We're going to put this one in first. So that goes back in the hole where the other one came from. Exactly. All right. That goes in. If you just put your finger underneath it there, you'll feel the point of it coming through, he says. This is the tricky bit. Wait, 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 let's get some light on it. You've just got to keep that bottom spacer on it as you drop it through, which is there. So that needle is now coming through. Yeah. We take the top spacer and we put it on the top. That just sits on the top above the circlip. That yeah. sits above the circlip, nicely like... Oh, hang on, it's going to fall down the middle. Probably might have to have a cup. Ah, there we go, yeah, say, we've done that. it. Fantastic. OK, right. so we've got the top one on. We're going to lower this down gently so it seats in the bottom. Remember this before? Yes. Got to make sure it goes only goes in one way. It does. So make sure we get that right. We're going to offer that down. We're going to push it down and you'll hear a click. There it is. Job's done. Check it. That should be spring-loaded. Go on, have a fiddle. Oh, hey, very good. Yeah. How's that? Fantastic. All right. Technology, eh? Good, isn't it? Turn that inside out, yeah. basically. We can remove this. Well, you, you probably let better leaving that in, actually. It just helps you to guide it in. I always cheat here. I'll just put a little bit of grease. There. There. I wonder about you had Vaseline in your garage. There. Well, don't say anything. OK. I won't say anything if you don't. <laughs> OK, we just put a little bit of grease on it just to hold it down. You see that? I wiped it on me. On your, yeah, on your frog. I should have a rag reel while I have it, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> you forget these things. We're going to slide that back into there, making sure that lines up. We're going to watch inside here. You can't see that, but I can. It's gone nicely into the into the jet there. Bob's your uncle. Press that down, make sure that fits. Remove that. La -da -dee. Keep talking. I'm, I, I'm, I'm amazed. I'm amazed that, you, <laughs> that you're doing this without all the bits falling all over the place okay. and flying all over We're the place. We're going to use that. And you haven't swore once yet. I don't swear. No, no, I'm sure you don't. No, I know you don't. You want the spring now, don't you? I should have had that ready. You should. Well, I a thought good, you were helping me. A good labourer would have sorted that out for you. Would have had that ready and waiting there. Leave a supply with the new spring. The new spring. Drop the spring in. Take the top. <sighs> Insert that. And that's about the... Uh, about the job done, isn't it? Make sure that this locates properly. There we go. Job's done. Three screws back in. Fasten it up. Done. Back on the bike. k &M filter, set of cans. Got to get some cans. And then Bob's your uncle. Fan as your granny. Exactly. Fantastic. Well done, mate.